We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Kev D is here. We've got some pan-seared prime rib with some soy chili glaze on the menu, and it already smells great here in the kitchen. Thanks for coming in today, Thanks buddy. Thanks for having me. Love to be here as always. Yeah, this is this is really a, a, a great uh, great dish and something you could make for the holidays as well. So tell us what we need to put this together. So I texted Michaela a couple days ago and asked her what her favorite dish is, yes. since this is her last day, and yes. I'm honored to be here for that. She said, I love a good steak. Sounds good. So we're going to pan sear a prime ribeye mm -hmm. uh, just with some salt and pepper crust, and then we're going to baste it with a little butter and thyme and fresh herbs, right. a little herb roasted potatoes. We have some maybe bok choy, which is packed with nutrients and flavor, which is a good veg for this time of year, and just uh, smoked sea salt and a little bit of lime, soy, and chili, and you have an easy, upscale, elevated dish for the holidays. Look, I think this is this tastes great. A lot of people would, would cook this on the grill, but I think cooking it in a, a cast iron pan, really, that's what I even at home. This is the way to get that in, nice, yeah. thick crust right. um, of salt, and if you want to use herbs or garlic, you can do anything you want, but just salt and pepper in a cast iron pan is the best way to make this ribeye. Yeah. In a good cast iron pan, don't get a junky one, because it doesn't work as well right. as, something, as something like this. Um, if someone's going to look for for some, uh, you know, some uh, uh, prime ribeye here, what do they need to look for? You want a little fat on so it. So right? you want that mark Marbling, you yeah. want all that fat because that's where all the flavor and moisture comes from. Got it. The best thing, best advice I can give is talk to your butcher because okay. they're the experts. You right. tell them exactly what you want, and they'll give you that. Okay, sounds good yes. to me. So uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have a good, uh, a delicious meal uh, today, and we're gonna put this together. Talk to uh, to Kev about everything else that he's been up to. Back to you. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Pan seared prime ribeye with a soy chili glaze. Ooh, doesn't that sound good? And hey, Chef Kev D is the one making it, so I know it's going to be great. Thank you. Welcome back again. Thanks for having me. Honored to be here for your last show. This is my last show. Yes. And we have known each other for years, actually. Before we jump into the cooking, we have a couple throwback photos what? that you sent. Oh, yes. <laughs> What is this, nine, ten years ago? 2012 or 13, okay. wow. when the Food Network, I just started doing Food Network stuff. Uh, Crazy. Chef Juan with Ann Burrell and all that stuff started to blow up. Mm -hmm. That was then, so that's like a decade, at least a decade ago. Wow. Couple and here we are, ten years picks. later. Huh? Yeah, I know. It's pretty unbelievable. Crazy. But we've been so happy to always have you in our kitchen. You whip up a great recipe every time. Uh, let's jump in. We got the pans hot. We're ready yes. to go. So this is a simple holiday dish. This is a pan-seared ribeye. Uh, we have some baby bok choy that we're sauteing with a little salt, pepper, and butter. Mm -hmm. We have our prime ribeye here. The, the trick is the better the cut of meat, the less you have to do with it, right? Okay. So if you get a flank or a, a short rib or something like that, you have to marinate it or braise it and do all these things. This, we're just going to sear in a pan. Right. Uh, I have a little bit of, this is vegetable oil. You can use canola. You don't want to use olive in this because this will smoke. Yeah. We just want to rub that on there. We have some kosher salt. Okay. We want to aggressively season that because we're looking for that nice salty crust. Mm -hmm. A little bit in the pan, not a lot, because you don't want to set off your fire alarms at Christmas, yep. right? But we are going to get a little smoke yes, and a good sizzle, smoke. that's what you want. You gotta yep. always want to go into that hot And pan. always get the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're just going to let that go and we're going to get a nice crust on it. Wow. Uh, for our sauce, what I'm doing today, this is my favorite with steak. You can make any sauce with this you want. I have uh, just a warm pan here, mm -hmm. and we're going to go a little bit of soy sauce. I don't think I've ever had a soy chili glaze on a steak. A little bit of sweet chili. Love these flavors. A little bit of fresh lime. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to let that reduce a little bit. Mix that together. And you're going to get a nice glaze for the top of your steak. Okay. Well, how quickly that is. Sometimes when you think of a glaze or a seed glaze, you think, is it time consuming? Can I do this? It sounds fancy, something on a menu. So easy. Look at that. You can do it. Yes, and then we have some uh, beautiful baby heirloom potatoes. You can mm -hmm. get the little mix in the produce section. Yes, they come in that yes. sweet little bag. All you have to do is cut them in half, olive oil, salt and pepper, give them a little toss. Well, we gee, hit you them make it look easy. A little uh, <laughs> skillet or pan, we just pop them in the oven. 25 minutes, 375, and you're good to go. Beautiful. Right. Now, how are you cooking your steak? And, and by that, I mean how long on each side to achieve? What are you looking for, medium so rare? So for medium? this, with a super hot pan, about three minutes on each side to get that crust. Yeah. And that'll be rare, medium rare. If you want to finish it in the oven, you can always finish it in the oven. Okay, beautiful. Um, and so what I do here, we're starting to get that nice brown crust. Yeah, we are. Take a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. We have some beautiful thyme and rosemary here. We're going to throw that right in the pan. Now we can add a little bit of salt and pepper. We added salt before because pepper seems to burn a little bit. So Things are sizzling. Things yeah. are popping. It's a yes. party in the kitchen today. Yeah, so we want to get those flavors. We want to get that beautiful butter. And what we just do is we baste it like this. Oh, good. Just keep scooping yep. it over. Just keep doing that. And what you do 
is you keep all the flavors inside, you sear it in there, mm -hmm. and then like I said, if you want medium or above, you can pop it, take this okay. stainless steel or this uh, pan and throw it right in the oven at 300 and just let it finish off. Love a good cast And we have a beautiful food. finished product here. How nice. A little smoked sea salt. Ooh, smoked And sea then salt. you can top it with the butter, mm. and I also have the soy chili glaze. You can do parm you know, peppercorn sauce, you can mm -hmm. do anything you want, but this for the holidays with the bok choy, the potatoes, the ribeye, uh, the herbs. And it's done. Hey, maybe you need an extra dish to make for your guests or even just yourself over the next uh, week or so. You can get this recipe online at roadshow.com. And for one last time in our kitchen, I will send things back to you.